Let's see, how can, where can I put this? What can we do here? Let's see, just a minute, just a minute. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a little get ready with me, playing with makeup, testing makeup sort of a video for you guys today. So Manicadar was so super sweet and sent me a bunch of their beauty goodies. So they sent me lip products and face products. So various things, we're just gonna be playing with those on camera, on my face, so you'll get to see them in action. And yeah, just kind of hear my thoughts along the way and a little wrap up at the end. Quick little overview. So basically, she says that this is Beauty Simplified. Beauty Simplified is at the core of her company. She says she created a three-step method to make your beauty routine easier and able to complete in just seven minutes. And I can totally see that because several of these products are kind of multi-use sort of products, which definitely does save you time. So I love that idea and concept. So that's a little overview. So yeah, this is a look that we're gonna be doing, playing with some makeup. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's jump on in. So I've already applied some CC cream, my brows, some eyeshadow primer, and then I set that with some face powder. So I'm gonna start with this product. This is the 3-in-1 Contour Shadow Blush, and this is in Posh. Looks like the color is called Posh. So yeah, here's what it looks like. Here's the actual little palette compact. Okay, so I'm gonna take, and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna take the matte side, on an Ultra Ego crease brush. So a little bit soft, but not too, too much. And I'm going to put this right into my crease and transition area, bring it down onto my lid just a little bit, just to kind of diffuse that color. The formula on this seems more kind of soft and silky, not super soft, but more on that silky side. So you do have to build it up, but I think it has that texture because it's supposed to be able to be used on multiple parts of your face, not just your eyes, but also as a contour and a blush. So you would want more of that kind of silky sort of a texture to use on your cheeks. So I don't mind that if it's a multi-use product, as long as it does work on the eyes, which it is, then I'm totally cool with that kind of a, a texture to it. Because I find that like, I don't know, if it's gonna work on the cheeks, you can make it work on the eyes, but if it isn't blendable, then that's really difficult to make that work on the cheeks. I wanna try as many products as I can in this look, so I'm gonna use this guy next. This is the 3-in-1 Highlight Blush Shadow, and this is in Chic. Chic. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna get some of this on a Chic eyeshadow brush. So get some of that. I'll first apply it dry, but a little bit soft, but not too bad. I dug my brush in there pretty good. So, applying it dry first. I really don't use shadows in that way very often. A little bit of fallout, so it is a softer sort of a formula. I really don't use shadows like that very often. I most always get it on my brush and then spray it. Um, let me see, can I use this? Refreshing Face Mist, I'm gonna use this from them, the Refreshing Face mist, face mist. Ready, set, renew, it says. So I'm gonna spray some of that on my brush. Good mister to it, that worked well. Once I got it kinda primed and going. And then, ooh, it smells good too. And I'm gonna build this up on my eyes. Just a pretty kind of champagne-y peach kind of a color. Oh, that's really pretty. These look pretty close in color too, just FYI. This one looks just slightly more metallic-y shimmery. Let's just put a little bit of that on top too, just to play with that one too. But bringing out or using the setting spray with that really seemed to bring out the metallic-y finish to it. So that's pretty. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the matte shade on a small Morphe M507 brush and put more of this in my outer corner and blend a little bit. I'm just kind of sitting here playing, just applying a little bit more of this one on with my fingertip. Cause I'm noticing, I think I got it a little bit thick cause it's starting to have a little bit of texture. So I mean, overall the pigmentation on these, this is more of like a, a natural 
fresh sort of a makeup look. It's not that like intense color payoff that looks like you're really made up. It's just more soft and natural, which I don't mind that. I like all different kinds of makeup. I think there's different um, uses for each type. This is more of that fresh, um, enhancing kind of beauty product. You know what I mean? Okay, I applied some liner. I used the Mally um, Evercolor Liner in, oh man, I'm starting to, starting to get so low I can barely see the color. Dark Chocolate. That's a liner that I used. Okay, so I'm gonna try the mascara. Y'all know how picky I am about mascara, but I'm gonna try it. Pretty packaging, it feels a little bit lightweight, so um, doesn't feel like very expensive packaging, but I mean, I really don't care about that if the product inside is good. So this is the Turn It Up Volumizing Mascara. It says, won't weigh down lashes. Um, and then it says, lashes appear fuller. If drama is what you're looking for, look no further. This has major drama with a creamy formula that won't dry lashes out. Custom one reaches all the lashes, keeping them separated and defined. Um, says apply one to two coats. To achieve maximum appearance of volume, start at the root of the lash and wiggle the mascara wand back and forth as you pull through the lashes to the tip. Okay, so I really do like the shape of this packaging. This is cool. And I like the metallic-y rose gold look to it. It's pretty. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. So it's a very fat, kind of stubby wand. So here we go. Okay, so here is one coat. So this side definitely has more definition because I had more product on the wand because it was just like the second time I was dipping it in there. Um, definitely could see the wiggling help to really define more. So far it's pretty good, not amazing. Let's see how it builds up. Okay, so I think this mascara is going to be personal preference because mascara is so specific to the person and what they're looking for, what their lashes are like and what they're looking for their lashes to look like. This is giving more of that like fluttery sort of a lash look. It is building volume, but it's keeping that fluttery sort of look. I personally like a very volumized borderline clumpy sort of a, a lash look. So I mean, so I'm kind of particular in what I'm looking for with a mascara because that's not everybody's preference and taste. But I think it's gonna be specific to what you're looking for in a mascara. I'm going to top it with some IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara just because I want more volume and rich black looking lashes. So I applied my color corrector and some concealer under my eyes. So now I'm gonna use this powder. So this is the, that's what the box looks like, HD Perfecting Powder. And doesn't really say anything about it. It just says HD Perfecting Powder. Let me see if I can look up something about this. So the HD Perfecting Powder. I do notice on the actual container, it says High Perfecting Powder. So I'm not sure why it says that on it. And then the box says HD Perfecting Powder. But the HD Perfecting Powder, it says it's a must have to create a matte flawless makeup finish while eliminating oil and shine. Pressed to reduce any mess in a reptile print. Universal shade goes on completely colorless, keeps makeup in place all day. Long wear to prevent any creasing or smearing throughout the day. So it does have a little reptile print in there if you can see it. Okay, so I am gonna try this under the eyes. Again, I'm picky about under eye. The camera cut me off, so I'm not sure exactly where I was and what I was saying, but I'm gonna try this under my eyes. I am pretty picky about under eye powder, but I'm gonna give it a shot and then I'll definitely try it on the rest of my face. It doesn't seem overly powdery either, like as I'm putting my brush in it, it's not poofing everywhere. So it seems pretty um, silky in texture. So there it is. And FYI on the packaging, so here's the powder and there is a little sponge under here and then a mirror at the top. So just FYI on packaging. Okay, so looking at this, wow, it looks pretty good. Like I'm looking specifically under the eyes, pretty forgiving. Pretty smoothing, and I like the way it's looking on the rest of my face. 
Doesn't seem like it's giving a lot of um, coverage to it because I still have some kind of redness, you know, right in here, um, which sometimes, you know, can still show through with my CC cream unless I kind of pat there, which I didn't. Um, so you can still kind of see that. So doesn't seem like a lot of coverage, but I like the finish on the skin. It's not looking overly dry um, and fairly smoothing. So overall, I like it. So I applied some CoverGirl Clump Crusher to my lower lashes. So now I'm gonna go back in with this product, the 3-in-1 Contour Shadow Blush in Posh. And I'm gonna get the matte side on just an angled It Cosmetics Chic Blush Brush. Tap off my brush a little bit and then apply this into the hollows of my cheeks and kind of blend it up onto my cheeks a little bit. So kind of as a contour, but also a little bit as a blush. And then I'm gonna to top it with something else. Oh, I love this on the cheeks. So this is what I was using on my eyes and saying, I thought the texture would probably work really well on the cheeks and it is beautiful on the cheeks. And the color is gorgeous. It is that, the rosiness kind of comes out more on the cheeks. I really like the texture of it. It is silky and blendable and pigmented, but not patchy or difficult to work with. I love this. So pretty. Okay, so favorite product so far. I like it on the eyes, but I especially love it on the cheeks. Beautiful. And because it works on the eyes, it is that get you out the door quick sort of product. Now I'm gonna use this one. So this is the three-in-one highlight blush shadow in fame fame so pretty all right so let me get a brush i'm going to wipe off the brush a little bit on my pajama pants so we can get a hopefully fairly true color so this is a really pretty kind of like light pinky sort of shade so getting some of that on my brush going to tap off my brush a little bit That is beautiful too. Oh my goodness. Such a pretty sweet pinky color. Big fan. And highlighter, I'm gonna use this guy again. I'm gonna use the highlighter side. Get a duo fiber brush and get some of this. Looks like it could be borderline, a little bit deep for my skin tone, but let's see. That worked, but you can see it's borderline a little bit too deep for me, but still very pretty. And this other one that I used on my eyes, I think this would be so pretty as a blush. I mean, now knowing the texture of that blush, all in one kind of product, this one that I use on my cheeks, the pink one, knowing that sort of formula, this is gonna be so pretty on the cheeks too. And this color is just kind of a neutral, pinky nude sort of color. So this would just be one that you could throw it on your eyes, throw it on your cheeks and out the door. And they sent me several lip products. So some sets and then some lip crayons. I've tried some of their lip products in the past and really been a fan of them. So I was super excited about lip products. So this is the Lip Library eight piece liquid lip stain. So it comes with eight different little small sized ones, perfect for travel, perfect for throwing in your purse. So I swatched a few of them here for you so you can kind of see what they look like. So let's see, how can, where can I put this? What can we do here? Let's see. Just a minute, just a minute. Okay, so first off, this one right here, look how pretty that is. That one is all of you, all of you. So kind of a peachy, pinky sort of a shade. This one right here, this kind of pinky color is all of me all of me the kind of reddish raspberry sort of color is pinot noir and then love this one too this is one of my favorites that one is shea shea these are a really cool lip product big fan of these they are i would describe them as a long wearing really pigmented gloss lacquer kind of right in between a gloss and a lacquer but they're just very pigmented really comfortable on the lips they stay around for a good amount of time for how hydrating and just kind of nourishing on the lips they are they're not drying in any way they're obviously not transfer proof they do keep this kind of um shiny and then they set down to be kind of a just a cream sort of a finish 
So they stay like that, so they're not transfer proof, but they're just really beautiful, forgiving on the lips, very comfortable and long wearing. So I really, really like these. This set, I already pulled the lipsticks out of here. This is the Lip Luxuries five piece semi-matte lipstick collection. It says with vitamin A and E. So there are five different lipsticks in here. Look how cute this packaging is. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Doesn't feel super weighty, but not like overly light or anything. Just super cute, love a little heart on it. This is what the lipstick looks like. So it is slightly um, swoopy <laughs> in its shape, but a really nice creamy formula. I was just gonna swatch a couple of them, but then I decided I'll just swatch all five of them. There's only five. That's why the swatches are everywhere. Okay, so first off, this shade right here, that neutrally color is Lust. The next one, this pinky, sort of a shade is love love this red color is karma karma this bright fuchsia is a fair look how pretty that is really bright pop a color and then this one right here is aura aura kind of a pretty peachy neutral color you can see really nice creamy opaque formula to these just a beautiful cream finish lipstick. And last up, they sent me a couple of these lip crayons. These are the Lip Locked Priming Lip Wand. So this shade is Joey, and then this one is Madame. Joey and Madame. Let me show you. So that one is Madame, the kind of peachy shade. And then that one, a very cool tone, kind of purpley pink. That one is Joey. Again, really nice, creamy, opaque, not patchy at all sort of a formula. Those are beautiful. So many options, but I think I'm gonna go with one of the lip crayons in Madame. So that's the one I'm gonna use just to kind of finish off, I don't know, sort of like bring it all together, I think. Oh, that's fun. It's brighter than I was thinking. On the lips, it's brighter, but really very um, forgiving. It's not looking dry on my lips at all. It's not accentuating texture. That's pretty. So here is the finished look. So I definitely have some standout favorites. I will say as this has kind of set on my face, I feel like my skin is looking a little bit makeup-y. So I think that has to be the powder and I'm looking a little bit shiny too, like in here, just a little bit heavy and a little bit shiny. So I'm not sure I'm a fan of the powder um, and I'm not a huge fan of the mascara, but everything else really, really like. But I would say my standout is definitely this one that I used on my eyes and on the hollows of my cheeks, love that. Really love the blush highlighter, eyeshadow, multi-use product, that's awesome. And then all the lip products are really creamy and comfortable. So those are my standout favorites. Okay guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was. And let me know down below if you've tried any of these products or anything else from this brand. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them. Um, ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.